hey guys welcome back to my channel is Nello here and if you're new you are most definitely welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning back in please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed okay and while you're at it click the bell button so you get notified every time I have a new video so moving on to today's video this is a video I've always wanted to film just that I just never got to it but I just recently got another email and I just started to sit down and film this video today you know I know a lot of people are joining YouTube every single day every month every other week and um yeah i get emails people asking me exactly like how to go about it like guidance like how they can make money off youtube or just how exactly the whole youtube business works so that is what i'm here to break down for you guys today while i share like you know my first check for you guys and what the process was like so without further ado let's just get on with the video <music> so guys first thing first like opening a YouTube channel is so easy all you need is like an email address like a Google address or some a Gmail address or something I'm not sure I, op I opened my channel years ago opening a channel is very easy so once you open your YouTube channel and you want to start uploading videos it's just as easy as film a video and put it out on YouTube and this is a whole separate video like how you can film video with your phone like when you're just starting out a YouTube channel I'll try and film that sometime in the future but today's video was just going to be discussing monetization so after you start putting out videos on YouTube obviously a lot of people that are on YouTube is their full-time job some people is their part-time job in my case it's kind of like an extra income for me you know because your girl is a businesswoman and I do a whole lot of things but anyways once you start putting out videos you want to monetize and when it comes to monetization on YouTube before it used to be way easier but now for monetization now on YouTube you have to have a total of 4,000 watch hours and at least 1,000 subscribers which is a lot you guys it is a lot if you're on YouTube you know that getting 4,000 watch hours is a whole lot but it's doable obviously a lot of people do it every single day so it's doable so once you have your 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers then you're able to monetize how you monetize your videos on YouTube is very simple when you go to your creator studio um, on the left hand side I'm going to show you guys my um, I'm going to share my screen on the phone now with you guys so on the left hand side there you're going to go to your channel the part that says channel you're going to see like live streaming community then channel is under that then once you click on channel you're going to see monetization under the channel so all you have to do is go to the monetization part and so once you click on monetization you're going to see the requirements to be able to monetize your video which is the 4,000 watch hours 1,000 subscribers and um, yeah to be able to monetize your videos you have to you have to agree to be a YouTube partner which is so easy you can equally do that under there is just to go under your channel and um, choose to be a YouTube partner you sit under the monetization as well the YouTube partner program you have to be accepted for that this usually take like it takes like a month to get accepted after you do all this then um, if you're qualified to monetize your videos then you have to go on and open an AdSense account which is basically like where YouTube pays you from so opening an AdSense account is easy you it you can still see it under the monetization tab from your creator studios it will just redirect you to AdSense where you go there and open an account there is where you set up your bank details um, if you want like wire transfer your address and everything if you want your check to be sent to you then they're going to confirm your address by sending you a pin it comes like physically in a letter form so you have to use a good address like when I requested for my pin the first one they sent I never received it I don't know how but I used my home address but I just never got it in the mail and I waited for like a month or two then I requested for another one and then within a week that one got delivered I delivered that one to my store address so that one got delivered so quick and then I put in the pin and um, and yes I was now able to be paid by YouTube so moving on to like um, my first check um, okay so hold on I'm go just going to share it on the screen here with you guys because since then I've been getting checks from YouTube obviously but hold on let me get it on my phone I'm going to share my first check with you guys okay you guys can see I started monetizing my channel um, October 2016 that was when I started monetizing my channel, I believe. And um and because from my AdSense account, though that is 
I it started in October 2016. But for the month of October, I made zero naira, like zero dollars, zero pounds, zero zero zero. I made nothing in the month of October. Then in November, as you guys can see down there, in November, <clears throat> from first November to 30th November 2016, YouTube earnings was seventy dollars. And if you start monetizing your channel, you have to reach a threshold of hundred dollars to be able to get paid by YouTube so the month of November I made seventy dollars from monetizing my videos but obviously I wasn't paid that month because I didn't reach the hundred dollars threshold because they can't just pay you every five dollar you make every ten dollars twenty dollars so it makes sense that it comes in hundreds at least hundred and above so that way even when you get the money it does something meaningful for you like in Naira in 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 now hundred dollars is about thirty six thousand Naira so that was uh, 2016 November I made $70 I wasn't paid then from <clears throat> 1st December to 31st December 2016 I made $205 yeah finally I was eligible to get paid because I made over hundred dollars that <coughs> sorry I have cough food everything because I made over hundred dollars that month I was not eligible to get paid you guys can now see my ending balance for for uh, the month December was now $276.33 because they added the $205 I made in December to the $70 I made um, $205 to the $70 I made in November. So December of 2016 was my first ever check from YouTube and I got paid $276 which in Naira is, hold on, let me just do a quick calculation, 276 times 360 which is about 99k so that's about 100,000 Naira. See. 100,000 is a lot of money, okay? Even though uh, you guys play me, I don't know if you guys can hear the sound of this play, but oh well, it's not going to stop me. Um, yeah, 100k is a whole lot of money, guys. Like, I don't know about you people, but 100k can do a lot for me and my family in a month. Obviously, this was my first check since then. Things have changed for me, obviously. And, um, yeah, but the thing about YouTube is that some months you can make a whole lot of money and all this money for me is just through ad revenue. So it's not, it, it doesn't include like sponsorships and every other thing that comes from YouTube. So <clears throat> in December 2016, I made like about 100k, which is like 270 something, some six dollars or so approximately 277 dollars which like i said is a whole lot and i mean for something you're doing for foreign or for something that is a hobby if you're getting paid on the side obviously um yeah that's always a plus some months on youtube you can make a whole lot of money some other months you can make so little and if you don't make up to hundred dollars in a month you're not going to get paid for that month so that's how YouTube works you know another thing I want to talk about is how the money comes about in the sense that you know some people get it twisted that if you have so much so much views it means that you have so much money like you're like you're paid according to the views you have but technically you're not paid according to the number of people that view your videos you're paid according to the number of people that view the ads that play before your videos or during the video or any part of the video though and also um, you're paid according to the engagements to the ads in the sense that you know when people are trying to watch like any video on youtube and those ads pop up that you can skip after five seconds that is where we get paid from because those advertisers pay youtube to advertise their products and obviously YouTube will put those ads in front of people's videos and you know they try to use your geography your age blah 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 and all those things to know the kind of like ad to play for your subscribers so they do all that kind of selection and then when people watch that ad you get a percentage of that money and YouTube takes 45% of every single ad revenue that we make which means that if we're making one cent to or let's say we're making two cents um uh, two cents per ad view something like that or one cent or one dollar whatever it is youtube takes almost 50 percent of that money so that cuts your income drastically which is why we have to work double as hard as we normally should because youtube is taking half so you need to work twice as hard to actually get what you're supposed to get for one video or one you get what I mean anyways yeah so that's how it works it's not by views it's about, it's about how people interact with your ad and how they watch your ad like for example if I'm supposed to get paid 
one dollar per ad like view I, I, it's nowhere close to this i'm just this is an example if i'm supposed to get paid one dollar per ad view and you skip after five seconds i probably get paid 10 cents and you skip after like 30 seconds pay is different and you engage with the ad for example you click and actually move on to the site to get buy something or do something or just view the site i get more money so i get paid according to people or we all get paid according to how people watch our ads and interact with the ads it has nothing to do with views because sometimes they actually watch people's videos sometimes they watch my videos or sometimes i watch another person's video and um no ad plays in front of the video you guys my sound i think i thought i've been recording the sound but it's not been recorded oh my god so i'll be forced to use the sound for my camera <sighs> anyways you guys you guys it's you guys i'm sure you're fine oh you, you just need the information not how it sounds so i'm just going to not bother putting on the mic again anyways um yeah um i can't remember what i was saying basically that's how we make money on youtube but the good thing about youtube is that there's so many other ways you can make money from youtube like um you know partnering with brands like people sponsoring video like if you work like with a makeup brand for example not only will you get the makeup you get paid to review the products because obviously you're trying to help them sell their market and just things like that some people sell like stuff some people do different things you can market your personal business like your girl always does so all that brings extra income here and there so at the end of the month you're making a subsequent amount of money from YouTube equivalent or even better than people that have like a nine to five. So for all of you that look at YouTube as like, oh, we're just here playing. Well, we are playing, but we're getting paid playing. Is that is that right? We're getting paid for playing something like that. Sha. Basically, that's how YouTube works. It's not a whole of money. Like personally, like YouTube money cannot sustain me or my family or anything but it's something it adds up at the end of the month you know i work with brands i do different other things you know that i wouldn't have been able to do if not for this my youtube channel so that i am grateful for and your girl is still growing we're approaching 20k you guys should make that happen for your girl okay let's try and see if we hit 20k before easter at least but yes i'm happy at my growth at you know how much i'm growing how interactive my channel is all of you that always comment i appreciate so much because engagement helps because that tells youtube that people actually like your video and youtube is more likely to to what's it called recommend your video for like somebody that just suffering through youtube is more likely to see your video because people interact to your videos people like your videos so you get more views and in sense more views technically is more money because um if ads are played in front of the views then you get paid and also more subscribers the more subscribers you have obviously the more chances of more income for you because that's more people more more likely to see your video okay then all that being said moving on to how to actually like try to get views subscribers you guys it's actually a hustle like people look at me and be like oh i'm doing so well but to me i'm just like please I, I feel like i'm stuck sometimes i feel like i'm so stuck on youtube like i'm not growing i'm not going anywhere like things are not moving fast because you see people that start their youtube channel and in a month like they've gone so far some people in a year some people in six months some people in a freaking week they've done so well and just look at yourself like what am i doing wrong i've been doing this for a while i've been doing youtube now for two years like what am i not growing as quick and all that but then again i'm i can't complain i've come a long way growing slow but steady you know so trying to grow your grow on youtube is a hassle especially for people that are just starting youtube you know like now that the requirements monetize your video you have to have 4,000 watch hours you guys in minutes I don't even know how many minutes that is if you know maths just do the maths and tell us in the comment section like it's a lot and I know that something that I used to do when I first started that I don't do again and I seriously believe that that helps me grow I don't do it again now I don't even know why you know what I'm going to promise myself to do that at least once every month is that I seriously used to disturb people with my video links let me not even lie you cannot be shy about the YouTube if you want to grow on YouTube you cannot be feeling too big to share your link with your friends and every other person that you don't even know if you're just starting out youtube you just can't i remember when i put out that first video i put out in 2016 maybe not the first one i put out like maybe three videos in 2016 around that time i started monetizing my channel but i remember the gilly tutorial i don't know if you guys know this gilly tutorial but that gilly tutorial brought me a number of subscribers and likes and engagement that video has over a million views now and <clears throat> i remember that 
when I filmed that video, first of all, I filmed that video because I searched YouTube then for gilly tutorials. It was so hard. I'm not a professional person. Like, I'm not a professional when it comes to tying gilly. I don't even know what I'm doing most times. But I vowed to learn how to tie gilly and I vowed to teach people and put it out on YouTube. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I looked for tutorials like that on YouTube and I just never found. So I was just like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to put it on YouTube. So I went on ahead and learned and put out that video on YouTube. I remember not only did I put it on YouTube, I sent the video link to all my contacts on WhatsApp. I sent it to some people's email addresses. Like I don't even know where I got the email list from. I sent the video out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. I was literally disturbing people with this video link. And at first, the first week, the video got maybe two or three hundred views, maybe five hundred views. And then before I knew it, like. 1000 views, 2000, 5000, 10k, and by the end of the month after I put out that video, I think it was at 10,000 views. I'm like, what? And at that point, I freaking had 100 and something subscribers. Like, I had 100 and something subscribers. And from that video, I remember I put out this video, I think in November, and by December, I had like almost a thousand subscribers. I'm like, wow, like, oh, wow, did this really happen? I know, like, after like two months or so, that video made me get at least two to three thousand of my initial subscribers so it really did something for me and since then you know after that time once in a while i'll just send out video links to people and even about sending video links if i get something like that youtube link from my friend on 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 whatsapp i'm definitely going to watch that video i'm most likely going to watch that video okay but if i if I didn't get it at all, I'm most likely not going to see that video because I might even miss the post on Instagram or Facebook or every other place the person might have put the post. But on WhatsApp, you can't really miss it. You open your phone, you see it, you click on the link and you watch it. And that's a view. That's what minutes. That's what everybody is fighting for now to be able to get monetized. So you can't be shy about YouTube. You have to put yourself out there and, you know, just be brave about it and don't be shy. I know it's very, very, it's something that a lot of people are shy about. When I started at first, I used to be so shy. I think then when I used to talk to the camera, I don't even know how I used to interact with the camera. I'm sure I used to be shy, even though generally I don't consider myself a shy person or very shy person i used to be so shy but now i feel like you know i'm very comfortable talking to the camera now i i've always liked public speaking for some reason so maybe this is this is my calling you know but anyways you can't be shy about um sending links you can't be shy about telling people even now when i'm holding a camera and somebody's like oh what are you do i clearly tell the person what i'm doing introduce the person to my channel it would help them look for my name on youtube like it's your job if, even if it's not a full-time job if it's a part-time job or for fun and you can still make money out of it then why not so you have to be loud about your youtube channel okay you have to put it everywhere like a lot of us that <coughs> on youtube you know some people obviously have big following on instagram I personally don't. I, I'm just okay on Instagram. So I won't say I get a lot of views from Instagram, even though I still update everything I do on Instagram and Facebook and all that. But for the most part, I feel like um, the engagement and everything that happens here on YouTube makes YouTube recommend my video to people. Because you know, you can view your video stats every time you put out a new video and or old video. You can always view your stats for the video. So you see like the amount of subscribers that actually watch your video. Sometimes it's like 20% of my subscribers. Like, like 20% of my views will be from my subscribers and the other 80% will be from people that are not subscribed who if they actually like my video, they end up subscribing. And that's because YouTube recommended my video to those people. So you guys, that's why engaging on these our videos is so important. We're actually putting work to put out this video. You guys, it's not easy. Like, being a YouTuber, especially in Nigeria, is not easy. The other day I was uploading a video, Spectronet was messing up. I had to activate an MTM body for 3000 to upload the video. You know, things like that. It costs money, time, energy, a, lo a whole lot of things. So, Please guys, like this video already. If you watch up until this point and you've not liked it, please like and leave a nice comment. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. All those things we always say, it actually means a lot and it goes a long way to help our channel. Okay? Okay, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything I've not taught. If there's something you would want to ask me that I didn't discuss in this video, please drop a question in the comment section. Ask me and I will reply you there. And if it's something that needs another separate video, obviously I'll always be happy to make that video but yes hope this video was helpful hope it was informative um yeah just if you've not gotten to 4,000 watch hours 
just keep pushing you're going to get there what's annoying is they actually said you have to have 4,000 watch hours within the past 12 months so let's say you started your channel two years and in two years you've accumulated 4,000 I don't even think that counts so it's a whole lot of work to to get to that 4,000 if you're a youtuber in Nigeria any part of Nigeria and you want to collaborate with me um, please let me know let me know Instagram DM might be preferable because I'm more likely to actually see a reply you can also tell me in the comment section but eventually we'll have to chat somewhere else and if there's any way I can help you increase your views watch time subscribers please let me know i will happily do that that's another thing when you're an upcoming youtuber in nigeria no one wants to help you like literally no one wants to collaborate with you no one wants to do anything with you all the big youtubers feel like oh they are too big for you and it's just a hustle so i know how far that will go for somebody with maybe 100 subscribers 1000 subscribers i don't even have a lot of subscribers i consider myself a very 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 small youtuber so yeah we can just all help each other out if there's any way i can be of help please let me know and you can actually also be of help to me i can get a few subscribers from you as well so yes if we can help each other out let's all help each other out and if you have a youtube channel please just leave in the comment section and just say you have a youtube channel and i'm going to subscribe okay i'm going to subscribe to you guys because at the end of the day youtube gets boring if you're watching the same people over and over again personally for me i like to watch a lot of different people sometimes i'm in the mood to watch myself sometimes i'm in the mood to watch somebody else and sometimes i'm in the mood to discover new talents and new people i recently discovered a whole bunch of youtubers including diary of an abuja mom and um i think ngozi um i can't remember her channel name right now but i'm going to link a bunch of channels that i discovered recently in the comments section like upcoming youtubers that are actually putting out work there to create like creating content please guys subscribe to them if you can i beg you it goes a long way yes watch some of their videos help them increase their watch hours help them increase their subscriber count some of them are already monetized help them make that money okay <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video again i hope i helped i think i've tried to end this video like five minutes ago and now i'm back to ending it let's hope nothing else let's hope i have nothing else to say but i think i've covered it all so thank you guys for watching comment like subscribe and all that good stuff and leave your questions for me down below and i'll make sure to answer every single question and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys